working on a 2007 Volkswagen Jetta with a 2.5 liter. Uh, just kind of going live with this one. Um, the customer complaint is the check engine light comes on and off at times. Um, right now, I don't believe it's on. Okay, so just a tire light. Hood's open. So, I'm just going to go to the scan tool. Okay, so I was having some technical difficulties with the scan tool. All I did was restart it. We should be good to go. So, engine management, codes only. And we have throttle control airflow at idle too low, P3078, uh, radiator fan, movement restricted, jammed, it's P1951, coolant fan control circuit, electrical malfunction, P0480, and an EVAP system, very small leak detected, P0456. <coughs> um, I'm not going to worry about these fan faults. Those are common. Fans go bad in these all the time. Um, what I'm going to focus on is this throttle control airflow at idle too low, which is a P3078. And also with this EVAP system, <coughs> very small leak detected P0456. Um, basically what can cause this throttle control fault is uh, any type of vacuum leak and or a, a dirty throttle body so um i like it accompanied with this po 456 so the first thing i'm going to do is do the basic settings test on this evap system so what we're going to do is go back turn to main menu and what we need to do actually i'm going to back all the way out of this <clears throat> all right so we're going to go to scanner and we're going to pick volkswagen and we're going to go into expert mode engine management master and we're going to go to basic settings so first thing, I'm going to start this thing up. So I'm going to try this instead. All I did, um, when you go into basic settings, I, I clicked basic settings and put in my own channel, which is 71. And this time I'm going to do preset basic settings. And we have a tank ventilation valve test, EVAP, test condition, start the engine, allow it to idle, continue. Please do the following operations when entering the process. Activate basic settings with Y. Test result reached in zone four. Continue. <clears throat> All right, so we'll turn it on. Test is on. Although this put me on basic settings, channel 70. Um, well, that passed quick. Evap, okay. Go back. Basic setting complete. Let's see, um, tank leak test. Start the engine, allow it to idle. Continue. I want 71. Okay, so here we go. 71. So I turn it on, system test, my test is on, and I'm going to let this run again, and wait for the result. Alright, so I just did my test, and system not okay, up here it states large leak. So. What I'm going to do is, these are common for the purge valves or the N80 valves, that's what Volkswagen calls them, to not seat correctly. So all I'm going to do is pinch off the hose that goes to the N80 valve or the purge valve and redo my test.
and see if this thing passes. All right, so I didn't even shut the car off and purge valve is underneath this engine cover. And it's right here. This hose goes to it and then it flows into the intake right here at the throttle body. So if there's an intake leak, that can set that throttle body fault too. We can have an intake leak through this N80 valve. Um, we could have an intake leak somewhere else too, but being that we had this EVAP leak fault, that's where we're going with. It was a small leak. Now it says large leak, but we're just gonna go with it. So all I'm gonna do is pinch this off, this hose going to it, and basically that's going to eliminate my N80 valve. And we're just gonna redo our test. All right, so I just restarted my test. And I'm gonna wait for this to go through. Takes a little bit. And if in fact this purge valve, <clears throat> if this test passes, then that will tell us that our leak is through our purge valve. Basically what we're doing is eliminating it using those pliers to pinch it off from the system. So we're sealing the system where we suspect a leak. And if it passes, then we know our leak is through that purge valve. Or, I mean, it could be the hose after it, but... And look at that, system's okay. This car needs a purge valve. I like it when the EVAP faults are accompanied with that throttle body fault. Basically what we need to do is fix this purge valve, go back and redo our test. It wouldn't hurt to clean the throttle body and do an adaptation, but this is mainly our problem that's causing that throttle body fault too. So faulty purge valve, easy way to test it. Um, another thing what we need to do is when we take this purge valve off is uh, get maybe like a white piece of paper and kind of tap it on the paper and see if any pieces of charcoal fall out because what what that would suggest is that our canister is starting to come apart and basically that's what's holding this purge valve open so could possibly need a charcoal canister along with cleaning the lines out and replacing the purge valve itself but so that's what we need to do. This car needs a purge valve. Wouldn't hurt to clean the throttle body. No big deal. Pretty common on these. So hope you like that test, pretty simple. Basically done all through the scan tool. Basic settings, 71. EVAP leak test. Just uh, one more on this. Um, after doing the system test and seeing that it passed, that tells us that our problem is on this side because the source um, from the LDP is going this way. So um, I just wanted to add that if it didn't pass, what we would have done is basically moved on to a smoke test. Um, this, is, this was just a real easy, quick check on this purge valve. So, um, multiple ways to do this. This is just one of the quicker, easiest tests. These are known to go bad. I mean, how simple was that? Scan tool and some pliers. So, well, thanks for watching.